Hi everybody, Belle here, KitchenAid's in-house maker. Welcome back to another Sunday how-to video. So this week we're going to use the multi-cooker again. Last week did a beautiful beef and barley stew. Did anybody give it a go? I thought it was absolutely delicious. Um, so did the whole family. So please let us know if you did give it a go. This week we're going to do a soup, a Tuscan bean soup. So I'm going to use one of the programmed functions um, in, with, on the multi-cooker. So the soup function, uh, it has three steps, three methods um, in this programmed function. So it's a, a saute start, then we go to a boil, and then we go to a simmer. So it has already preheated. I've preheated this, so at 175 degrees. So now I'm going to take the lid off. I'm going to use the stir tower. So I'm going to place the stirring arm on and place that down into my pot. And I'm going to add, I've got some celery, carrot, garlic, um, and onion here and a little bay leaf. So I'm gonna pop that in, hear that sizzle away. Did have a little bit of olive oil, I'm gonna put a little bit more olive oil in there. Then I'm going to turn the stir tower on. So just to speed, um, speed one, and that's just going to gently saute my, um, my vegetables in there. I'm going to give that a few minutes and then I'm going to add my potatoes and then I'm going to put some water and then I'm going to skip to the boil method. So um, let's get to that. I'll show, you, um, I'll show you a little bit closer up how we do that. Okay, we're back with step two of the soup method with the multi-cooker. So the simmering step that I set for 15 minutes has just stopped. I'm going to turn the stir tower off and take the lid off. I did add the pumpkin with about five minutes to go. Um, I just thought that the pumpkin might need a little bit longer because I'm going to take it to a simmer step. So. All right, so now I'm just gonna come around the front and I'm going to go to step three. So now it's coming up step three simmer and I'm going to put the timer on and I'm going to do this for another 15 minutes. All right, so now I'm going to add my, I'm going to turn my stir towel back on, my beans, cannellini beans. I'm going to add my tomato my parsley and rosemary. These out of the way. And then my stock. So a lot of the water that I added to cover the potatoes has evaporated. And I'm just going to put my vegetable stock in here. And now I'm just going to pop the lid back on that and let it do its thing. I'm going to change so the stir tower has two in intermittent speeds, um, 15 seconds every two minutes, or for slow cooking and longer cooking, um, one minute every 20 minutes. So I'm just going to do the every, um, every two minutes for 15 seconds. So whilst that is cooking away, I'm going to do a quick pesto to put on the top. I'm going to use the little um, three and a half cup food chopper here. Got cords everywhere here, sorry, so oh, that might fall. Pop that back into place. Hopefully that won't come back out. Okay, so really easy. I'm going to do a parsley and cashew pesto with this one. So I'm going to put in, I've got my parmesan cheese chunks here. I'm going to blend those up first. So I'm just going to put that on, I might do speed two for that and just pulse that. This is just falling out. Apologies. Very hard working like this. I'll push this multi-cooker forward. Just rest my little power board there. Okay. Pharmacy. 
in. Then I'm going to add my cashew nuts and garlic. Post that a few times. Then I'm going to add my parsley, just a bit at a time. Now I have broken it up because this is only a three and a half cup food chopper. I'm probably asking it to do a little bit much, but it'll be fine. Okay, and you can see in the top of the lid here, there is a little um, drizzle basin. So now, I'm going to grab my olive oil and I'm just going to fill that drizzle basin up a bit at a time. Then just slowly add the oil. Fantastic if you're doing mayonnaise. You need that slow, steady stream of olive oil. And that drizzle basin pours it in there. Exactly how it needs to be. I like um, the pesto a little bit chunkier because this is going to go doll on top of the soup. So we've got our pesto, I'm gonna pop that in a jar ready to go. And we'll serve that on top of the, um, the white bean soup. So we're just going to let that now simmer away for 15 minutes and it's ready to enjoy. 